all right hey everybody welcome back to the channel it's your friendly neighborhood saskatchewan guy iron man 3406 here if this is your first time tuning the channel my name is nathan out here again gonna give you guys another new equipment operation tutorial all right so we're looking at a new 265 next generation cat compact track loader what i'm about to show you is going to apply to the 255 and uh, even some of the d3 series beyond the older series beyond this um so yeah the new next gen platform compact track loader again 265 um three things that i want to show you today first one being how to use this loader safety arm brace second being how to lower the loader down to the ground if the machine runs out of power and there's two ways to do that one you can use the joystick as long as you've got electrical power and the other way is to use a manual release if there's no power at all so we are going to get into uh, all of that so stay tuned these are probably three of the most underutilized safety features that are offered in our uh, cat machines and I want to make sure you know how to use them so we'll uh, we'll get into it okay so the first thing we're gonna start with is this safety brace right here so traditionally I see it all the time operators need to get out of the machine with the loader in the air for whatever reason lift the loader way up in the air open the door hop out of the machine the loader arms just free dangling up there with uh, the ability to fall you're putting a lot of trust in a mechanical device that could fail at any time I don't want you guys to do that I want to make sure you make it home to your families every day so this safety brace can be done with one person to get it locked in the position when the boom goes up and then to bring it back down it can be done with one person as well without even having to get out of the cab so that's what we're gonna go over first I will demonstrate how it works and uh, you guys will see it's real simple to use okay step number one you got to remove the two safety pins that hold the latch in the stowed position one and two it's really important to lower this one and you'll see why a little bit later so we just let that sit there like that I'm gonna get up in the machine now. I'm gonna raise the loader up so you can see what it looks like once that's all latched in place. Now it's safe for me to get out of that machine. The loader is safely locked up and there's no risk of that falling down and squishing you. All right, super easy to do. No reason not to do it. Now, when I go to let this down, traditionally you gotta have a second person here. Operator gets in the cab takes the pressure off of the safety brace second person moves it out of the way operator lets the loader down everything's all good but you need two people that's where this little this little flag comes into play now one operator can do this all by themselves you're gonna get into the machine we're gonna raise the loader until this flag drops into this little pocket when that flag drops into the pocket we're gonna be able to lower the loader and this is gonna use its mechanical advantage to pivot 
this safety brace up and out of the way so we can lower the, lower the loader arms without needing a second set of hands. So I'll get the camera repositioned so you can see how this mechanism works when I uh, go to let it down and we'll let her down. So you guys can all see there's no reason you need two people to make sure that you can use the safety brace. Keep yourself safe and when you're all said and done, you're just gonna pin it back up. Just like that, you're all done, ready to go back to work. One thing that I like to do when I'm doing that is I'll crack this back window just a tiny little bit so that I can hear when all this stuff clicks and falls into place. That way I know that I'm over top of this pocket and I'm good to let the loader down. So apologies here everybody, my audio kicked out. So what we're gonna now is demonstrate how to uh, use the dead engine loader lower function. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the loader up and I'm just gonna shut the machine off just to simulate uh, a situation where the loader might stall with the loader in the air. And then we're gonna walk through the procedure on how to get it safely back down to the ground. Now this procedure only works if you have electrical power still after the engine shuts down. So we're gonna get the loader up in the air and oh darn, engine stalled on us. So it's really dangerous when the loader's up like this to try and get out of the machine for the same reason that we just went over. The loader's not braced by anything. You try to get out of there, it could, it could come down on you. The machine just had a failure. You don't know what's broken, you don't know what's damaged. So it's really not safe to get under the loader. So all we're gonna do, as long as we've got electrical power, which we still do, we got our ignition turned on. We're gonna hit the park brake button one time. And it's gonna unlock our hydraulics. Now we just take the loader down control. And we lower the loader to the ground. So there's an accumulator in the hydraulic system that stores enough energy so that we're able to do this as long as we have electrical power. And now it's safe for us to get out of the machine, assess the problem. We're never ever putting ourselves at the risk of that loader coming down and squishing us. Now we're gonna do the next test, which is the same thing. Loader gets stuck in the air, but the machine dies, and we have no electrical power, no nothing. She's, everything's, everything's totally dead. So we get the loader raised up again to simulate our dead engine shutdown. Oh, there we go, machine stalled out. We got no power, no nothing. Again, super dangerous to get out of the cab right now like this, because of the, we don't know what's What's damaged? We got no electrical power. Something failed. To get out of here right now, we could get we could get squished. Something else might fail. Fortunately, Cat's got a mechanical switch to be able to lower the boom in this situation. Just pull this latch down, and there's a cable that opens the valve to let that loader down. Now again, we're safe to get out of the machine. We're not crawling under that loader trying to get out, or we're not trying to hinge the door off or anything like that. We can easily safely get out of the machine. Cat does a real nice job of making sure that you guys are safe out there in the field. All right, everybody, that's gonna wrap this one up. Again, three really simple 
easy to use safety features that I wanted to make sure you all knew how to use in these new uh, compact track loaders, next gen skid steer loaders from Caterpillar. One, how to use that safety brace. Two, how to lower your loader arms if you've had an engine failure and you still have electrical power. And three, how to lower your loader arm if you've got no power at all, the machine's completely dead, you've got that mechanical that mechanical cable that uh, will make sure that you can get that loader down safe. So, Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you learned something new here. If you did, do me a huge favor. Throw me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. All that good stuff. If you've got questions about these next generation cat compact track loaders, do not hesitate to leave a comment. I'll do my best to answer it. And uh, if you guys want to see something specific on these new machines, how to do it or anything like that, let me know. Um, really liking these these new skid steers and uh, compact track loaders. So, with that, I'm gonna sign off. I will catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget, I am Iron Man. All right, little bonus footage for you guys. You ever uh, swear at manufacturers not being able to be able to clean the side glass on your skid steer? Well, Cat's done something to help you guys out. Real simple as that as well. You can take both the front and the rear panel glass out in about 10 seconds. If you want to take the front panel out, you're going to open the front window so that the latch latches into that number one position right there. Then you're going to flip this lever just like so. You're going to flip this lever just like so. And then all you got to do, pull out, slide this over a little bit, and pop that window right out of the way. Now you can clean the window, do whatever you need to do. It's the exact same thing for this back one, only there's a different position where we're going to slide it to, and then it just pivots out the exact same way. So again, just one of the little nuances that Cat's done to make it easy to keep your windows clean and see out of your windows. Now to put it back in, it's just a reverse procedure. You're gonna line up that latch in the bottom and you're gonna just pivot the window back in, slide the rail over, one latch, two latch, slide the window shut and you're done. Super nice and easy to pop those windows out on these next gen cat compact track loaders.